Hey, what's up you guys? So, um, super cool project lined up here. As you can see, I'm in my truck and I am driving up into the northern part of Utah County. And I'm just getting off the Thanksgiving Point exit because I'm gonna be meeting the Hush guys at Cabela's today which is really exciting. It's gonna be a lot of fun because I have a couple projects that I'm gonna be doing with those guys. One for BMAC for himself, and then another one for Casey, and he's gonna be giving that one out as a gift. And I might have to edit that out depending on when this video is released. So anyways, we're gonna go up there and meet with those guys, see what's going on, and uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun, so stay tuned. All right, here we are. I'm gonna go meet these dudes. I can see them already. I don't know why, but I'm so dang nervous. It's kind of cracking me up. There they are. I'm at a power conference. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh my goodness. Say, hi, say hi to the Bone Tats vlog. Bone Tats vlog, what up? <laughs> Good to meet you, man. Good. Good. How's it going again, dude? I'm How's doing great. Logan. Yeah, Logan. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Did you bring yeah. your skull down? Oh, yeah. Sweet. I got yours in the car. I forgot mine. I had to call him and tell him to go get it this morning. Did you? Oh, yeah. Nice Save job, us. Logan. I bet you do that a lot. <laughs> Dude, you've been crushing <laughs> me on the too. skulls, man. Yeah. yeah, it's been fun. It works freaking yeah. awesome. I don't know how you do it. I appreciate it. Yeah. I don't know how I do it either. Do you get nervous? <laughs> like when you were doing that ram horn, do you get nervous? Be like, oh, I just I was, I was terrible. What's up, Sawyer? <laughs> How's, it How's it going, going, buddy? Doing good. You were terrible. Dude, I'm so nervous. I'm like shaking. This is so weird. <laughs> I know. Funny, it's a good thing technology can get rid of all this stuff going on, huh? Stabilization. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I was terrified doing that one. I'd never done one. And the lady's like, can you do it? And I'm like, sure. Yeah. So you just got to wing it. Yeah. Right? yeah. You just oh, have dude, to. Dude, freaking crushed it. Oh, it was fun. It was awesome. I loved that one. To see those pieces come to life. Yeah, it was super cool. All right. See, look how steady I am now. Steady like a rock. All right, steady like so a rock. Here's the, here's the project. We're gonna hand it over. This is a Roosevelt elk that was taken uh, with our good friends at Born and Raised Outdoors for Land of the Free. If you guys haven't watched any of that, if you like elk hunting, go watch it, check it out. Absolutely. But uh, I'm gonna have Jeff doctor this sucker up. Probably incorporate the logos of uh, Hush and Born and Raised and then the Land of the Free. Maybe some other things that are uh, tied to like the Oregon coast where this sucker came from. But Roosevelt elk, quite a bit different than Rockies historically quite a bit smaller antler frames but their bodies are ginormous hmm. and uh, the country that they live in is pretty wild so we were uh, not far at all from the ocean Pacific Ocean you can actually hear the ocean in the background of uh, where we were camped that's so cool really close to where we killed this bull so it's uh, got a lot of meaning for for me and I know Casey has a project as well from this year's hunt so Heck we're excited yeah. to see what happens and we're gonna share these with the born and raised guys during the expo season coming up here in February. So we're gonna go to Portland and then they're gonna come to Salt Lake. And yeah, can't wait to see what you do with them, man. Sweet, man. Yeah. yeah. Look at him tussling. Look how cool that is. <laughs> Freaking the uh, line. Oh, no way. French, yeah. That's cool. He's a high fence bull. High fence bull. High fence bull. Down <laughs> fence. So we, uh, when we kill him, I said I'll leave that on there. but. My project's a little different. I'm gonna uh, do something special with this one. Same thing, Roseville Elk from Oregon. Uh, that was Land of the Free 1.0. This is Land of the Free 2.0. And I'm just letting Jeff run with this thing. Whatever he thinks, whatever he, his vision is for it, I'm good with. And then we're gonna do something cool with it. Sweet. I'm so excited, you guys. This is gonna be so much fun. No, we appreciate it, man. Look forward to seeing what you come up with, what you create. Well, there they go. Heading out. And I got the goods, got the spoils. So I got my deer, I showed him. I should have done more videoing, but I was so dang nervous, I was just shaking. Anyways, so this one is, that one's Casey's, and then that other one back there is for BMAC. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Can't wait to get him started.
Hey you guys, as you can see by the time lapse videos, I'm getting pretty close on this big rosy elk for BMAC. It's coming along really nice. I'm excited to show you kind of a little bit of an update, just kind of give you some close ups and stuff like that. I'm almost done getting closer and closer, which is good because I just got a text from BMAC just a few minutes ago and uh, they're wondering if they can take this up to the Portland show, which is just a few days away. So I've got my work cut out for me, but I'm gonna get this thing all wrapped up and finished. If I don't knock it off the table. I'm gonna get this thing all wrapped up and finished. Hopefully the carving part between tonight and tomorrow so that they can take it with them up to Oregon. And all you guys up in Oregon can check this thing out. Just have a little bit to do on that cheek there and the back of the skull there as well as my signature and the bone tats logo which i always include on every single piece but it's coming along really good i'm super pumped to get some color on it and then contrast though if it wasn't for that gray color there which i don't like which i used to fail that epoxy I might want to just leave this thing uncolored because I think it looks really nice this way. But I always think that and then when I get the color on I'm always glad I put it on. So I'm sure that will be the case in this instance as well. Close up. <laughs> Slick trick broadhead which is what this bull elk was actually killed with. Land of the Free with the Born and Raised crew. Super fun. I'm excited. So thanks for following along and let's uh, let's continue. Here we go. pretty stinking bright out here but I wanted to bring it outside since I finished all the carving and it's ready now for color and contrast which it's gonna be so fun can't wait to get that going anyways I wanted to give you a quick show out here um, a quick look at it because in this nice bright natural light you can see the shadows and how you can see the depth of the tattoo engraving which looks really cool so let's go take a look together. This one is for BMAC of the Hush Crew. And it's the rosy elk that he took with the born and raised guys up in Oregon. Land of the Free Project 1.0. And I actually have Casey's rosy elk from Land of the Free 2.0 that is going to be done next. That's my next project. And I have one week to get it done for the expo up in Salt Lake. But it turned out great. Super happy with all the detail, how deep it looks. And uh, the design looks cool. Excited to get some color on this bad boy. It's gonna be sweet, so stay tuned. All right, check that out. All done and I wanted to take some nice photos and stuff like that and I can't do it because I don't have time. B Max just called me and asked if he could meet me up at Cabela's so I gotta actually leave in about three minutes get this thing delivered up to him so he can take it to Portland for the sportsman's show which is totally fine. 
take some nice pictures of it at the expo in Salt Lake in about a week and a half. So it'd be cooler to see it in the element there anyways. So here we go. Let's go see BMAC. Got BMAC here. BMAC, what do you think, dude? I think you absolutely nailed it. <laughs> you freaking crushed it, man. It's such a beautiful job. I mean, this is something that's going to be a memory for a lifetime, and that's, that's what I love about getting different pieces um, of art made out of some of the animals that you have a chance to shoot. Because this one will stick with me for a long time, but it is a super uh, sentimental piece. Teaming up with our buddies of Born and Raised, and the initial land of the free project they did. This bull was killed in Oregon on the coast. So it's a Roosevelt elk, not really found around these parts in Utah at all. And um, my first Roosevelt elk ever captured on film. It was a wild ride, but it uh, just turned out so dang good. <laughs> really excited to show Casey and Eric and show Cody and Trent and Trevor and Steve when they have a chance to see it. I think they're gonna be blown away by the level of detail probably be hard to see in the video but man some of that stuff is so intricate the detail of the broadhead so that is actually the replication of the broadhead I use it's a slick trick four blade 125 grain and he freaking I mean it looks exactly <laughs> like it and then it's got like the land of the free accent details with some of the stars playing off their logo yep and then on this side it has the hush logo just turned out freaking so good it's amazing, man, what you can do. You're su super talented, and Thanks, I think as more Appreciate people uh, find out your skill sets, the more people <laughs> are going to be asking you to do special stuff for them. So, yeah, this is going to be at our booth at the Portland Sportsman Show up in Oregon, and then also at the Hunt Expo in Salt Lake. So, I don't know when the video is going to go up, but if you see this before then, come and say hi. Yeah, come check it out in person. I'm sure it'll be after. Too much to do. Too much to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, look at that. Yeah. It actually looks really good in this light. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Literally exactly what I had in mind, man. He just freaking nailed it. Yeah, right there. That's perfect. BMAC, thanks, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just freaking love it. It's going to go in my office. I'm going to actually go in and buy a little hook set, you know, for uh, uh -huh. the office here. And she makes the show circuit tour. Heck yeah. She'll reside above my desk. <laughs> all right, you guys. So, as you just saw in the video, I got that thing all delivered up to BMAC up there at Cabela's in uh, Lehigh, Utah. He loved it. And it was really fun to just sit and chat and talk with him of what maybe could be in Bone Tut's future. So a lot of fun stuff there. Um, I just also wanted to tell everybody thank you who came to the expo. Obviously, it's been a few weeks since I completed this project. And uh, I've also since finished the one for Casey and delivered that up to those guys up at the expo. And that'll be part two of this video. And uh, it's going to be pretty sweet too, especially with the ending being up there in Salt Lake City, as well as, you know, the delivery of the gift to the Born and Raised Outdoors crew and all those guys. So that was an amazing experience, a lot of fun. And uh, speaking of the expo, just wanted to tell all you guys who were able to make it and came by the Bone Tats booth and shared with me your excitement about my brand as well as look at some cool skulls and just all that is amazing. So thank you guys. I can't tell you how much I appreciate everyone who came by to say hello, those who bought a hat or a t-shirt or a hoodie. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. After a couple days of resting, I can finally say I'm so excited to do it again next year. I'm excited to find out what Bone Tats has in store over this next 365 days. It's going to be so cool, and I'm excited to see where we're at one year from now. Anyways, that aside, 
Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, please go to Instagram, follow me there. Also on Facebook and uh, right here on the old YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. So stay tuned for part two of the Get Hush in Skulls. All right, here we go.